The electric field of a charge sitting at rest is the simplest example of an electric field. But what happens to the field of a charge that's moving close to the speed of light? Much like the shape of an interstellar spaceship would be contracted along its length due to the effects of special relativity. The electric field, too, is squished along the direction of motion for a particle traveling at nearly the speed of light. The actual formula is a little bit complicated. Compared to Coulomb's law, the field of a moving charge is modified by an additional factor that depends on the angle from the direction of motion. The net effect is that the field is amplified by the relativistic factor gamma in the perpendicular direction, while it's reduced by 1 over gamma squared in the forward and backward directions. In other words, whereas the field of a stationary charge has the same magnitude in all directions surrounding the particle, for a moving charge, that spherical symmetry breaks. And at ultra-high speeds, the field is mainly concentrated in the perpendicular plane that slices through the particle's trajectory. What's more, a moving charge produces not just an electric field, but a magnetic field as well. Whereas the electric field lines emanated radially away from the charge, the magnetic lines circle around it. And taken together, the two fields look something like a wheel and its spokes. But needless to say, the fields of a moving charge are quite a bit more complicated than, 